couple things I just want to go over for uh, your walkout. Two things. One is how far the walkout, and two is how wide your feet should be when you're unwrapping the bar. So the first thing is, I've already talked to some of you guys, is you walk back too far. So a lot of people set up, and then they'll take multiple steps back too far from the rack, or even take huge steps back. So what we want to do is try and get as minimally far back from the rack as we can without hitting it. So what it should really be is only your first step should be going back. The rest of the steps should just be going left and right, setting up your width. So what it should look like is something like this. Where you unwrap your feet together, your first step is back, and then your next step is only set up how wide you're going. So, same thing as you can go foot first, so you can take your left foot first back, and then set up your right foot right next to it, and then left foot right next to it. So, only the first step should be back. You shouldn't be going one back here, and then one back here, and then one back here. If you're going to be too far from the rack, you'd be wasting your energy walking back and walking in. Also, uh, if you have safeties that only come out to a certain distance, you might be walking out from the safeties. Or if the end of your safety has a lip, you might be hitting that in the bottom of the squat. Also, if you're on a platform in competition, the platform is only so wide, and you have a back spot behind you. So you can't be walking back 5, 10 feet and walk off the platform or bump into your back spotter. So you want to be as close as you can to the rack so you don't hit it, but not wasting energy. So you usually only want the first step to go back. And that first step would be the full distance of your foot. So you notice right there, my step back is the full distance of my foot. And then from there you can step left and right. Or if you want to do it shorter, your first step it would be about half the distance, or maybe three quarters of the distance of that foot, and then step left and right. And then from there, you can adjust your toes in and out if you need to, to get to your step that you want. The other thing is how wide your feet should be. So if I bring the camera here to the front, so if we set this camera here to the front, stance is going to be. You don't want to be starting at the same width as your, your squat stance and you want to be starting okay. You don't want to be starting wider than your squat stance. So you want to be more narrow so that you're setting your feet out. And that's usually going to be around where your conventional deadlift stance would be. So a good starting point would be this is where my deadlift stance is and then go out wider. So, heels are under the hips in about a yellow stance, maybe a little wider if you're going to go out wide. And then from there, all you're going to be doing is taking your steps out to go wider. You don't want to be starting too wide because then three step walkout, if you start out too wide, you're going to probably clip the rack on the way out. So if I start out wide here, my own rack is fine, but now if I want to step my left foot out, I'm hitting one side of the rack, and then I'm going to be stuck, and that's going to be hard to set up the other side. It doesn't matter which way you do it, if I take my right, right foot out first, I'm going to the left side. So, you want to make sure you start out narrow, and your first step is straight back, so you clear the rack with the weights. Once you clear the rack with your weights, then you can step left and right, and you won't hit the rack. Alright, those are two big things. Short walkout and a narrow stance.